And here you now a message from Tam. Uh, I don't really, Tam doesn't really have a meaning, so I don't really know what to put with Tam. Don't uh, do drugs. It's the name of the band, so uh, I'm just putting that. Because it is a show after but all, and you're supposed to be commercial. This is acrylic paint, and this is text paint, so you mix the two and it makes it okay. It's not going to come out on your skin after, you know. You won't get, you won't get a Tam tattoo if you wear the shirt. Just like a real pal, you know. I'm just like Salvador Dali. Really scandalous and dark, dark, dark. It's William Reed. This is Dallas and Travis and Andy. And that's an ecstatic peace sticker. That's the, the name assholes. of it. That's the name. Yeah, it looks like the assholes, but it's the dead souls. It's the name of the new CD. So we just called it that. And that one is the back cover of the first CD that Thurston Moore put out on Ecstatic Peace. This is the Vampires. This was the name of my band before Thurston changed it to Tam. So I wanted to make one vampire shirt. 666 I added because part of the themes of some of the songs are sort of about the New World Order, which is why I did that shirt over there. It's from one of Andy's songs, Paranoia. It starts off with New World Order. How is 666 so intricately connected to New World Order? Well, it's sort of like a number barcode because everyone's supposed to get the mark of the beast on their hand or their forehead in, like, in the future, you know? And this one is Don't no, Talk, I, so Ecstatic oh, Peace. Yeah. It's so hot that Static Peace is a label, no, Thurston, Thurston Moore's yeah, label. I first CD was on. I just put Don't Talk because the label don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> 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 I did two shirts, loose lip sync ships, one there and one there. That's an old saying from the war, actually. World War One or World War Two, I don't know. People would say loose lip sync ships because if, if you were a traitor to your army, you would get killed. It's 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 uh, organic and it's biodegradable, isn't it? Well, I didn't want I didn't want to print up shirts, you know, because it shows. You always get these tacky printed shirts, and I don't really like wearing printed shirts, so I figured mm. just paint on well, some. Why shirts not make printed shirts? Well, no, painting on shirts is. Cooler. Like I'd rather wear like see somebody wear a shirt like that than a t-shirt with a printed thing on it. You know, it's a little more interesting, you know. Okay. Don't you think? Not necessarily. No. No. Well, I mean, uh, Why, is, I, what, is I, there I, something uninteresting about printing? No, but I was thinking of, like the Sex Pistols. You know, before they had their image, Vivian Westwood designed you know Sex Pistols, oh, like clothes for the Sex Pistols. So I was just thinking along those lines. Oh, like, I see. I don't mind. I just have to do my hair and my makeup. <laughs> Carter family fold. Where we're gonna go one day? Carter family stuff. So oh, cool. Just like Loretta Lynn. <laughs> Perfect. You could come out in this little number. <laughs> yeah. 
how about an apron over your tights? From one of the fanciest stores in the U.S. Yeah, that was really 1950s. Cool. I think it would rock on. <laughs> Maybe it would suit Nick Cave better than me. Thanks. I go. I know it'd be a little bit. Taking a deep breath of air. It's like Elvis or something. What's her name? Elvis's daughter? Priscilla. Priscilla Presley? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, but nobody really cares anymore. Yeah, I, I'm just uh, I'm being obedient to to the guy with the camera, trying to be obedient. We should be obedient to, to people. And that's Blake Zabargo. He was the guitar player in the, in the cave in the bad seats before uh, or before or after and well, we started I, Astros and my phone. So examples from nature he's one of my heroes. Uh, they have a mystery, something. I understand people that make from flowers a cult of a flower, you know? Well, I like flower seeds. What? Seeds, you know? Yeah. The bad seeds. Why? Why do you like seed fl flower seeds? So you can grow your own flowers. It's just nice. Oh, I thought you were gonna say because I smoke them or something. No. I don't I smoke. Know. Uh, um. So how's your band coming? The band's going all right. We've been practicing. You know, a uh, big show at Metropolis. Uh, everyone's real excited. You know, it's fun playing with the band. As you know, I haven't played with a band for two years, so uh... I don't really know what you've been doing. I've been doing solo years. shows with my drum machine. I mean, well, after Oshega Fest, I had a fight with, with my band. What is it that you like about Nick Cave? What do I like about Nick Cave? Yeah. I mean, could you He's dark and scary. Him? He's um, a good, good writer. He's a brilliant writer. I mean, that book that he wrote, And the Ass on the Angel, did you ever read that book? I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch anything of these guys. You don't like Nick Cave, eh? No, I don't like him a lot. Why don't you like him? I find other things like much more darker and deeper and more disturbing, like, like sunsets and flowers. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's going to love to hear that. You think it's cliched, like yeah, like the darkness like that he. Drama. But like you haven't even listened to so his songs. It's fake. If you haven't listened to his songs, how do you know if you like? like well, I'm hearing it now, and I've heard it like this before in other places, like that. I know what he's about. Yeah. It's all theater. It's theater. That's what I don't like. You don't think he's being sincere? Like. No, I think it's very stylized theater, but not in a good way. For me, it's just the energy of his music. You know, like it's thrashy, you know, and just makes you feel like yeah. frustrated or something <laughs> when you're listening to him. Maybe because he's like frustrated. If you feel frustrated, listen to Steve Reich or something, and then you'll really get frustrated. Who's it's Steve really, Reich? Like, in reality, Who's Steve Reich? you be like pulling your hair out. Who's Steve Reich? He's a classical uh, composer. He does like... Uh, so you think you're calling Nick Cave a light, a fake lightweight? <laughs> it's he's like a WWF, WWF wrestler. It's like I mean, it's in, <laughs> there's like uh, there's no impact that could. It doesn't. Touch, I mean, it's not real life, so that's why it seems worthless. To me. Could, but you like you like abstract music and abstract art yeah. in general. So Nick Cave isn't really like that, that, you know. He comes more from the sort of goth punk scene, you know, Berlin '80s. Although some of his uh, some of his albums are a little boring, but like stuff like the Carney and From Her to Eternity are really good. Okay, uh, let's go outside for a bit. John lives up there, John Reisner. That's why we do art sometimes in the city, you know, just to, to create something out of the boredom and, I mean, out, out to, to destroy, it, not to have the boredom anyway, anymore. Yeah. Because sometimes it is, um, you, you have to give inspiration.
when inspiration is not there, you know, you, you create something for the inspiration, <coughs> to inspire other people. Um, yeah, sometimes I just stand out here and stare at the wall. It's really fascinating. You know, it's, it's, you nice. it's like the you Berlin Wall. Have you used this wall in any of your creations? I thought you may have taken pictures of it or something. And made t-shirts. You should make a t-shirt of uh, the brick wall. It is nice. Yeah. That, that's, that's when the pimples that, are that, on the balcony, is, it's nice. I used to coordinate artist exhibits and music, music shows in Al. Well, Nick Thorburn of the Unicorns came and did a show and Al had his prints up and the brooms did a show. Remember that? that was it was like a noise before show. The before the Unicorns, yeah. The brooms. So I met Al there. And I thought he was interesting because uh, he had abstract sort of ideas about art and life. Isn't that illegal? Yeah. Next question. Yeah. What happened next? After that, uh, I went to England, to Manchester, played some gigs and by myself, and went to the Gallagher's house. My friend Johnny and like in the on the level of physiognomy, I mean. Yeah, I feel sort of like they seem really like, like familiar. Types of human they seem like really that are attracted familiar. to each other. Well, I don't know.